everyone and welcome back to The Messy Bookshelf. I'm Jennifer and this week I am doing my May book haul. I've accumulated quite a few books this month. I've kind of been staring at the pile in small sections, but once I stack them up I realized there's, there's quite a few books there. So um, I'm just going to jump in. Um, there's no particular order. I'll talk about each book when I get to it. The first book that I'm going to show you, you've actually already seen, and that is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. This came out on May 3rd, and it's about a girl whose father is a politician? Yeah, she's a politician's daughter, and there's a scandal, and that's about all I know as from reading the front cover. I'm really excited to get to this. I'm hoping to get to this probably in July. The next book you've actually already seen as well, and that is The Merciless 2 by Danielle Vega. This is an arc I received through work for an honest review, and this comes out on July 5th. I'm super excited to read this. I'm thinking it's probably going to be my plane read when I go to New York, but it is, I don't really want to talk about it too much. The Merciless is the first book and it has like this cool red cover, similar to this one. And it's about some freaky shop stuff. Freaky stuff. Freaky stuff. The next book is another arc that I received through work and that is Julia Vanishes by Catherine Egan. I think that's how you say her name. I'm not exactly sure when it comes out because my arc says March, but I think they pushed it back or pushed it up to um, July. Uh, I'll put the date down here somewhere when I research and find out when it actually comes out. I also don't know much about it. This is um, about some witches and yeah, it. I don't know what to tell you because there's nothing on this cover. I had never heard of this book before, but from reading the back, it sounds kind of interesting. The tagline says, witchcraft may be illegal, but magic still rules. So that sounds kind of cool. Sticking with the arc witch theme is How to Hang a Witch by Adriana Mather. This is another arc I received through work for an honest review, and I know nothing about this. Um, something to do with Salem and the witch trials, so it sounds pretty cool. Um, I'll get to this probably closer to, when does it come out? It comes out in July, so I might get to it before it comes out, but I don't think so. Maybe I'll save this for a spooky Halloween read. The next book I bought at Value Village, and it is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I've heard amazing things about this series and this author. Everyone who has read it has seemed to rave about it, so when I saw it there in this beautiful, perfect edition hardcover, I just decided to pick it up, and I hope to get to this soon-ish. My TBR is pretty big. The next two are graphic novels, and the first one is Lumberjanes by um, Noelle Stevenson and a bunch of other people. This, I've heard amazing things. A lot of people say that there is some LGBT stuff going on in here, which is kind of what intrigued me to get it, and it's a bunch of kick-ass girls just hanging out at camp. So that sounds pretty awesome as well. The other one that I got is I Hate Fairyland by Scotty Young. This is the volume one, Madly Ever After. And I can't remember what channel. I think it might have been Jesse the Reader. Uh, I'm not really entirely sure, I can't remember. But I saw this on somebody's booktube channel, knew it was right up my alley, found it at work one day and picked it up because it sounds amazing. And I showed it to all my friends and they've already read it and I still haven't gotten to it yet so I need to get to it soon. The next is the piece de resistance of the month. The reason that I've, like I could have filmed this video like weeks ago because I've had all these books for weeks but I've been waiting for this book to come in because it came out on May 3rd but I ordered a signed copy so I had to wait and it only came in like this week. So it is. A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah G. Moss. Yes, and it has, um, this, it says that it is a signed first edition of A Court of Mist and Fury, specially bound and produced by the publisher. I'm not very far into it. I have been so busy with, uh, school and work these past, um, couple of weeks. Well, this past week. So I haven't really been able to sit down and really dive in, so I'm 
hoping maybe soon. If not, I'll be bringing it on my trip and it will get finished in New York City. <laughs> the next books that I'm going to show you are the rest of the books that I got from Valley Village. They have this deal that if you buy four books, you get the next one free. So, and you have to do it all at the one time. You can't like, there's no stamp thing. Anyway, so these are the rest of the books that I got while I was at Value Village. And the first is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy. I, it's about a plus size girl who goes into a pageant. That's all I know. I've heard some pretty good things about it. I don't know why I've been kind of avoiding it, but when I saw it there, I figured I would give it a shot and see what I thought. So I'll get to this eventually. The next I was super happy to see because, as you know, I've been reading the Amulet series and if you've watched my videos for a while then you know that I've gotten most of my Amulet series at Value Village. So it's no surprise that when I got there I found number five, the next one that I actually needed to read. Book five, Prince of Elves. I'm loving this series. I am only... I need to read this, six and seven. And that's all that's out right now. I hope that they continue on with the series after this, after number seven, because it's it's such it's so much fun. It's a middle grade graphic novel series, and you should definitely check it out. And the next two books I've actually already read, and when I show them to you, you'll understand why, and then you'll question me why I bought more, but you might understand. But anyway, the next two books are. Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas. Yes, I have purchased two more copies. I found them at Value Village in these like perfect edition hardcovers. Like they're like pristine, they're a little dusty, but I think most of that's from my own house. Um, I have Queen, I have the first three in the beautiful white cover UK editions, but my Queen of Shadows is hardcover. So when I saw these, I was like, I might as well just pick them up so my set will be complete because when the Empire of Storms comes out, I'm going to be getting it in hardcover. So now all I need is Throne of Glass in hardcover, and that's very hard to find, apparently. So I'll be working my hardest to get that one so I can have a complete set. Will I get rid of my beautiful white UK editions? Probably not. I'll probably just put them in here. Again! 13! Every single time! Every time. But those are all of the books that I have to show you. Um, let's see if I can actually manage to get these in the frame. Oh yeah, I did it! Yeah! Ow! Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. And all my social media is down below if you'd like to follow me there. I will see you on Tuesday. Bye!